Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick fill-in haul from Aldi, and I wanted to share what I picked up. So I'll start off over here with these house shoes. I have been wanting some house shoes for a very long time. They had these as a special in their Isle of Shame this week, and they were $5.99. I didn't really care for this color, but this is the only color that they had in my size, so I grabbed it. And they seem pretty sturdy. Um, and you can see the soles of the shoes right here. And they have a little cushion in there. So I'm excited to try these. And if they don't work out, they were only $5.99. So grab that. Also saw this pasta bake, four cheese pasta bake. And um, you add your um, own cheese, so you add Parmesan cheese to it, and you add milk, and then you bake it. Um, it is German month or week at Aldi, I'm not sure which it is, but I heard that these are really good. These are hard candies, they are imported from Germany, two pounds, and this is a glass container that I plan to keep and reuse because it's really nice and big. You can't really tell on camera. But the flavors that you get are lemon, orange, raspberry, grape, and apple. So I'm excited to try these because I really like flavorful hard candy. Last time I was at Aldi, I saw these. They had a bunch of them, but and I didn't get them. And they had the lemon dunkers and they had the chocolate chip dunkers. I've never tried either one, but Howard and I really like lemon stuff. So I'm hoping these are good. I grabbed the very last one that they had. In the frozen food section, I saw this three pepper blend. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is just plain peppers, and this one is peppers plus the onion. And I've never really been a big frozen pepper and onion person until the pandemic pandemic hit. And then I didn't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff like that because I was staying inside. And I realized how important it was to have these things in the freezer. So that's why I picked them up because I think as it gets colder, I'm going to stay in more and not do as many grocery hauls. So I grabbed that. And then this is something new to me, this snack pack. And they had different ones. They had some savory ones with pretzels and a savory dip. But this one looked good. This is strawberry with little graham crackers and cream cheese in here is what they look like. They're actually little graham crackers are about the size of a Cheez-It. Then you get a little container of the cream cheese dip. And I just got one because Howard's not a big fan of strawberries. Needed some cilantro for a recipe. Grabbed some of this and I always say it wrong so I'm not even gonna bother to try. I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. I'm planning to use this as a dip and then grab some hamburger buns for meals. I'm planning on making sloppy joes and then Howard will probably grill some hamburgers. So Howard does not like just their regular um, 85 cent burger or hot dog buns. So I've never tried this before. So these were $1.99. Um, I hope they're good. They're really thick, pretty heavy. Um, the packaging looks a little cloudy. Um, it's not, it's not um, steam or anything. It's just that's the way that the packaging looks. You can see there's flour or something on the bun. So anyway, pick that up. I've been hearing that these things are really good, these cookies, and they were only 95 cents. So I finally decided to give them a try today. I grabbed a couple of containers of whipping cream for um, recipes and for dinners. And then I saw these little Belgian chocolate pumpkins and they looked so cute to me. Try to get the glare off for you guys. And they were only $2 and something. And then on the back, it tells you what's inside of each of these little chocolates. So vanilla cream, salted caramel, coffee ganache, dark chocolate cream, and crispy milk chocolate cream. So it sounded really good. And then their 100% cranberry juice was on sale for $2.15. I grabbed some avocado for Howard. Now these are really big avocados. Um, and at Kroger and other places, they were selling them for $1.69. At Aldi, these were $1.49. 
And Howard compared these to the one that the ones that we have in the fridge, and these are significantly bigger and for cheaper. So that was a good deal. Um, I needed a couple of cans of apple pie filling for a couple of recipes that I'm going to be doing. Um, I recently bought some of these name brand ones, not from Aldi, for Harrison, and he's our nine month old, and he actually likes them. So I was very excited about that. And so I didn't even realize that Aldi sold these, so I grabbed two for him, the only two flavors that they had. I grabbed an apple and then a banana and strawberry. The last thing that I picked up from Aldi was this bow tie pasta. I didn't know that I didn't have any bow tie pasta, and so I was kind of disappointed because this is a 12 ounce box, and all of the other boxes at Aldi, all their other pasta like penne, macaroni, they were either 16 ounces or 32 ounces. This is the only one that was 12 ounces, and it was the same price as the other ones. So I only grabbed one box because I plan on hopefully finding a better deal for bow tie pasta somewhere else. So anyway, this is it. This is all that I picked up for my quick fill in haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps our channel out a lot. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.